back to Mario Superstar Baseball, guys. We are here. The top five characters. <laughs> and we're going to talk about why our top five. Let's start with Boo. Boo, number five. One spot lower than he was in the last ranking. The highest someone was willing to put Boo was three. I believe I was one of the people that did that. And the lowest was eight. So a little more wiggle room than we've seen with other characters this high up. But Boo is very controversial for some reasons. So let's talk about what Boo brings to the table. I'll start. Best pitcher in the game? Yes. Best pitcher in the game. All right. Uh, pretty good bat. One of, the best in the, one of the best in the game. One of the best in the game. Uh, I think the reason people put him a little low is that one of the best bats in the game, it doesn't foul all the time. He's a very big foul hitter. Another reason I think is that a lot of people are very used to drafting um, like power hitters first, and it kind of hurts people's brains to pick more than one non-power hitter first, and a lot of people like to pick Birdo first still. So I think that's just a hurdle, mental hurdle that people have to get over. But Boo, amazing. I've drafted him first more than once this season. I won one of the games out of two. So. Nice. I've, I've also drafted Boo very early. And especially with the possibility of a... Uh, you guys have heard me beat the dead horse to death. But uh, I think it seems a little more like that for us as we're filming all these in one night. But there is a pod, there is a future timeline that exists where there is a captain-centric draft. And with the captain-centric draft, it makes Boo as one of, I think, one of the two or three characters... That might start becoming a first pick because you're not really wasting that slot on I can't pick a captain right now, otherwise I'm locked. When you get Boo, you're grabbing someone awesome. Yeah. So I mean I think I think Boo is currently already amazing and will remain amazing if the draft never changes. And if the draft does change, one of the only non captain characters that's gonna get a really big rub from it. Yeah. So if you're really not familiar with this game and you're here and you found our channel and you're thinking the same thing we are with Boo. The stats aren't lying to you. Boo's great. The, the hitting stats says he's not great, but Boo is great. Um, Doubles. D- name name me more than one character that can get an extra base hit without a charge swing, without without a star. I couldn't. Maybe Boomer. Maybe DK, if you're lucky. Uh-huh. Boo, oh, yeah. top five hitter. Yeah. Top five hitter. The, the OPS... And on base percentage is better than I think the other two power hitters. Um, I think the fact that you have a top five hitter on the mound yeah. and, and on the mound, it's a clear disadvantage for the other person because they have to then roster a worse hitter, which I love Goomba. I like Dixie. They only hit singles. So to have one of the best hitters in the game with a clear advantage, it's like boo everyone else. After Boo, it's like everyone's in that same little pitching tier. So good. So good. So reliable. And I think Boo is, is just one of those pitchers that it doesn't really matter where you throw the ball. You have so much more time to bring it back over the plate. If you see that the, the person that's hitting is moving in towards the box, you can bring the ball fast enough and whip it back inside and make them swing and miss. There's just so much more you can get away with because you can say, oh, crap, I didn't want to put the ball there. I'm going to take it off the plate for a ball. You can do that. You have you have so much more wiggle room with his wiggles pitching. Boo, fantastic. And uh, just... I, I don't want to skip the trending up just yet if yeah. that's what you're about yeah, to no, do. Yeah, no, no. Because I do want to say there is one disadvantage to Boo. Boo does get glitch bunted on a little bit more because he's very small. Um, and too small. We, too small. Yeah. And we found that your like the like the the player's hitbox will activate if the ball gets in within a certain radius of them. And the bigger the character is, the bigger their radius is. I've seen it mess up some things in the outfield where Waluigi gets picked because he's just a bigger character when you didn't want him to. But it's to Boo's disadvantage on the uh, what's it called on the mound. Because someone will bunt it, and then it it might give you third base because it might be more in their range than the pitcher's range because Boo is very tiny. That it doesn't really happen to Waluigi because he's big. Um, this is all speculation uh, and like not data that we've ever seen before. But I think we have a good hunch, right, yes, yeah, about 100%, that. So 100%. yeah, but however, the, that is not worth not picking him. He's amazing. Also, Boo's chemistry is only okay, right? It's just just Wario and King Boo. That's it. I think so. 
but that's pretty good well, stuff. Yeah. good characters, but yeah. you know, it's nothing crazy. If it was more, it'd be crazier. Yeah. Also, you know irrelevant pretty much. He can play first base sometimes, and he does have super jump. I have Once I, again, small. When yeah. I, uh, I mean, I personally, I, 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 I accept the knowledge that Boo is the best pitcher in the game. But I always tend to lean a Daisy pitcher. That's like the way she feels better. But where I sometimes get Daisy and like Boo and King Boo, there's some tasty stuff going on with Boo and KB on third and first, third, yeah. first. Like yeah, the synergy is yeah. really good. The super jumps are good. There's a lot going on with this character. Um, and I'm, I'm in like, I think the trending is kind of clear on this one. And I'm willing to jump to it if you're ready. I'm going to go first. Oh, yeah. Of course you are. You're on the left one, aren't you? Trending up. Up, 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 up. In the five hole, you think you're tr- you think trending up? I think Boo's a top four character. I do. Wow. I agree. I also think Boo is going to trend up. Uh, whether it be the downfall of the power hitters or the most controversial character in the game, who you're going to see in the next episode finally getting the old heave ho, <laughs> I think something is going to put Boo in the top four by the 2021 tier list. Agreed. I'm going to say up as well. Uh, I think the crazy thing about Boo is that you can just take the pitching out, and we have King Boo and Petey ranked 7-8, and I genuinely believe that Boo's bat is better than King Boo and Petey. I think it's more consistent. And the fact that you could then not have to use a star, not have to charge swing, and give stars to other characters, and you can still get extra base hits... That's a win-win-win. That just makes your entire team better by not having to use a star. It's a bad not, for your buck. Yeah, it, it really is. It really is. So, Classic buck bag. Boo, top four character for me too. I, 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 maybe even top three. I don't know. Boo's great. Boo is On the way great. up. Mm-hmm. Agreed. So, all right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching our little analysis on our boy Boo. Spooky ghost. Uh, or girl, whatever. Uh, and we will see you for the next one. It's gonna be a gonna be a tough ride. Gonna be a doozy. Hope you're prepared. Right. <laughs> I'll see you later. Catch ya. And if you want to get more information on this great game, come over to the Discord. Literally, any question you have about this game could be answered by any of those guys in a second. They'll answer you literally right away. It might even be me. So the link is down below in the description. And also, we just recently started a Patreon. As of right now, there are no rewards for becoming a patron. We're currently brainstorming things that a patron would do. But um, we really like bringing you all this content. Uh, I mean, we put out a video every single day. We really love bringing you this content, and we want the quality of our content to be even better. So we started the Patreon as a way for you guys to chip in and donate so we can upgrade our equipment between controllers, recording equipment, whatever. Because we're going off of literally stuff I own, and (laughs) I pay rent and I have student loans, so it's not the best but uh we'd love to uh, update all that stuff for you so if you want to join the patreon uh the name is right here somewhere and uh it'll be in the description as well so thank you so much um and some sort of rewards for patrons will be coming eventually so thank you so much and i want to give a quick shout out to the first three people who subscribe to our patreon connor nace jake winnens and blake dubty that's awesome guys i literally made the patreon today and 10 minutes in we already had two patrons and then blake joined later so, like, thank you so much. Uh, and I, I'm i planning on shouting out our patrons at the end of any produced video. A lot of the games don't go through anything, like, any production. They just go straight from the recording setup to YouTube. Anything produced will have the patrons' names at the end of the video. So, thank you so much for being our patrons, and uh, catch you next time.